I haven't asked any questions yet. You look like you're debating this. Okay. Uh, your question. If you can help us out here. Uh, this whole first part, FYI, literal, is not true because there's no words. I know there are letters. So I guess it's your definition of literal. At the end, it says solve for x. At the end of the problem, when you solve for x, what should it look like? Macy sounds so different. Oh, singular X. Oh, what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, he's, that's pretty much kind of right. So at the end of the problem, it should say X equals whatever. That's what solve for X means. Now, these don't say that to start with, and they also don't have numbers, really. So this can be super confusing for some people. Others might find it really easy. It's just kind of very polarizing topic. Who can help me with the next question? Um, how about Abidola? Oh, you're just picking on me. Oh, um, plus H. Oh, wait, what did I ask? Oh, I don't know. Oh, why are you telling me to plus H? Because you're trying to get the epsilon. Okay, good. Um, how come you said plus? Because your mind is saying H. Excellent. So uh, we solve them the same as if there were numbers there, whatever. Um, it, it just feels strange because it's a letter. But H is being subtracted, so we would add it to both sides. And I, I guess the next part is probably where most students have trouble when they do. Oh, you're just keeping telling me? Oh, I, I thought you were going to call somebody else. You can keep going. Uh, what do you mean by put it at the end? Just put the I'm, I'm positive you mean it correctly. Would it be easier just to tell me what to write? Uh, B plus H. Oh. Like that. Yeah. Good. No, that's perfect. Uh, if they were regular numbers, you could put them together. If they were the same letter, you could put them together. But we can't because they're different. And if you're trying to add them together, then that's all you do is you just say you're adding them together. I like them more than numbers because I don't even have to think. I just write them next to each other. Uh, nice job. Um, I feel like we should go to a much harder one so that maybe the rest of the page isn't so terrible on its own. Does that feel OK? Yeah. OK? You guys want me to answer anything on this maybe that's felt confusing? You do too? No. Wait, that's our answer? Still no. Okay. I was asking questions on this. Oh, this is the answer. Yes. Sorry. Um, our, goal, our goal was to make it say x equals. And as soon as we got to that point, that's the answer. We don't, we don't know what numbers those are, so you just leave it like that until you know the numbers. Uh, I, think I, I think the next one I was doing was eight. It wasn't four. I think eight was the next one. Uh, did you say after eight, do nine? Correct. That was. So I, I just thought it would be better to go right to the very difficult ones, because if you can do those, then the rest of them should be OK. Uh, Abby, who did you want to call on? Um, Eric. Eric. Is that, is that bad? You didn't want to be called on? How come? Didn't want to answer? Didn't know I how mean, to do it? I know how to do it. Oh. I mean, I don't even OK, you are definitely not quiet and shy in class, though. You are very loud for the most part, just not towards everybody. OK? Mm -hmm. uh, you're very good at pretending. OK, uh, do you want me to assist you a little bit? Do you want me to? No. OK. So our goal is to make it say x equals. There's a couple different ways we could do this. And there's quite a few different ways the answer could look that would all be correct. So correcting the test is actually annoying for me. 
um, but probably good for you because you can do it different ways. Uh, what would you do first? Uh, distribute the 5b plus 7. Okay, we could. So it would say 5b plus 35. Yeah. Okay, we could. I'm lazy. I don't want to write that. We don't have to do that. Okay. But we could. And it's not wrong if you did. Add b. Okay, good. All I cared about was making it say x equals. And so I would have been focused mostly on that. So you add g. This is... This step is very similar to the very first question. Uh, can you call the next person for me? Oh, question? Or are you volunteering? I'll volunteer. Okay. Isn't it x equals um, 5b plus b? What happened to the 7? Oh, wait, I mean 35. Oh, oh, so you multiplied out to 5. So if you wrote 5b plus 35 plus g, that's fine. My problem won't say that because I didn't multiply it up. But you definitely could have done that. Does somebody else, um, let's call on somebody else who would write the answer from what I put. I'll call on a Oh, okay, because you didn't get to call on somebody? Yeah. All right, that's fair enough. A volunteer just so. stole your thunder. I feel like it's not going to be a random person, but go for it. Eight. Oh, you're actually calling a random person. Eight. Then why did you want to call on somebody? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um. Would you like some assistance? Yeah. Okay. Everything up there is different, okay? They're not the same letters. Um, there's no numbers to add together. So if I want to add G, on the very first problem, I just wrote it at the end. And that's gonna be the same down here. If I want to add G, but it doesn't go with anything else, Write it down. You're just going to rewrite what was there already. And then plus G doesn't combine with anything, so you just write plus G at the end. Yep, good. Generally, every year, these are the strangest questions because it feels like you should do something, but you can't. Okay, now nine is actually the hard question out of this. Eight looks like it should have been difficult, but it actually only hit one step. It was a little bit more work if you multiplied out the five, but you didn't have to. So somebody you want to call in? Okay. done with eight because there's two different answers that you could write. Um, I can put the second one up there for anybody who did that. If you did it the other way, this is still correct. Like that'd be correct. Eight. I was hoping you could help me with number nine. you started with the two? How come you didn't start with the nine or the three? Uh, and if you don't know, that's okay. I'm just, I thought I would try to ask it because that's the important question. Okay. Did somebody whisper the two to you? Okay. So you knew to start with the two, you're just not sure why. That's fine. Anybody know why we started with the two? Wait, all three of you, man. Four of you. Rex. Why don't we start with two? Okay, that was unfair because then they said they knew how to do it and I called on you. Uh, okay, so the times by two was 100% correct. I absolutely think some of you would do it.
just because you're like, just like you know how, why. Time does. Sounds great. I don't know what that means. That sounds like you're just throwing math terms at me. Uh, uh, no, don't tell me what PEMDAS stands for. I know what PEMDAS stands for. That's what you use. There's nothing up here that says PEMDAS. You've had your hand up before. Was it the same answer? Yeah. Oh, really? You were going to say PEMDAS? Yes. Yeah. What kind of a reason is that? PEMDAS, it's because the it's the way you're supposed to do it. It's because the order of operations division is for, for four and. What is weird is you just explained PEMDAS. Wow. <laughs> no, I mean, that's honestly correct, too. You, nobody, nobody has been incorrect. I was hoping somebody could tell me why the two. Take that. That's perfect. That's a good answer. The two is on everything up there. So the first thing we have to get rid of is the two because it's on everything. The times two was correct. PEMDAS was correct, even though that's not really an explanation. Uh, everything is PEMDAS, so you can always answer PEMDAS. It's technically correct. As long as you've got numbers, you can say PEMDAS. 9 plus 3x equals, oh, uh, we can write b times 2 or 2b. They're both both right. I'll write 2b because it's smaller, simpler. Sounds good. Then it's a vitamin shot. Aubrey, I feel like you uh, deserve this because that was a very long answer that everybody else could not get right. I had, I had to go to Target yesterday, so I had a chance to refill with goodies. Not just Tootsie Rolls anymore. Now we got, you got the Halloween, Halloween Skittles, Caramel Apple Suckers, and Smarties because they were cheap. I don't know if Smarties are the... Although you took them. It's good. I didn't know if Smarties were popular anymore. Sadly, when we were young, my generation was dumb. Almost. We used to always crush up Smarties and then snort them. And it hurts like it hurts like crazy. You don't want to do that. It was definitely stupid. It was really dumb. I don't know how my generation survived. But every time I see Smarties, I think of my childhood, so I buy it. Um, I don't remember who I actually called on. Kate? What was it, Kate? No, oh, Kate was correct though. Did I get a name right? Okay. Uh, yeah, what you had answered before is fine and correct. Uh, do you think you'd call somebody to help you go to the next step? I feel like you have somebody in mind. What would be the next step, I think? I can give you some assistance if you want it, or uh, I can go get a drink and there's people that can help you out, whatever. Okay, so I'm looking at this, it says 9 plus 3x. I actually don't care what it's equal to. Oh, thanks, I didn't even hear the door. Uh, because it says 9 plus 3x, our goal is to get the x all by itself. So when I'm looking at this, I need to get rid of the 9 and the 3. I just need to decide which one to get rid of first. Okay, I want to get rid of the 9 because it's on both of them. The 3 is only on the X. Okay, uh, I think you said take away the 9? Is that subtract? I want to emphasize this plus sign is on the 3X, not the 9. But the 9 is being added, they just don't write the symbol. So minus 9 is, is correct, it just doesn't always feel like the opposite. Okay, 3x equals, well, I think I need somebody to help me out with what to write. 
You can or somebody else can. I'll be honest, you had a question in your voice. You didn't sound very sure of that. Oh. oh, you were saying it's wrong because it's a seven. Yeah. Oh, no, nothing to do with the seven. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to, to say it. These two things can't go together because one has a letter, one doesn't. So we can't actually combine them to make negative seven. Perfect. So if they can't go together, you just put them next to each other. Yep, good. Um, even, if, even if it was a seven, that's okay. A bad answer still works. Uh, somebody want to call on to help me finish this off and be done with this difficult problem? All right. Come on. He looks like he's busy with something else, though. I'll, I don't know if we should call on him. Oh, are we not calling on you? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, well, I was being sarcastic. You were definitely being called on. I apologize. I am frequently sarcastic without, like, naturally, without even thinking about it. Oh, okay. That is absolutely acceptable. I didn't even get my drink yet. I believe I heard you say it correct, though. This one? Uh, you said divide both sides by three, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. How come? Oh, that is a good reason. He is correct. Probably important we know why, though. OK, the three. We're trying to get rid of it. When, when they're written next to each other like that, it stands for multiplication. So why would we have chosen division of three? Of? Yes, good. Okay, Moa, last person. He wasn't even in the room. I mean, I could call him, that'd be really cruel though, right? Akeem, do you know how to do it or would that be cruel? Yeah, oh, okay. How do I write divided by three on that? Okay, we'll call somebody else. I mean, I think you know it, but maybe you don't understand the question either. Okay? No? Are you not, not sure how to do it? I think you do too. Um, honestly, that's not wrong because you guys definitely had that in your packet before, didn't you? Yeah. We're not going to write it that way because it only looks like the 9 is being divided. So instead, what we're going to do is the division, the slash, we're going to show it like that. So writing the line under the whole thing shows that everything's being divided. If you put the slash at the end, it looks like just the nine is being divided. Yes, ma'am, question? No. Oh, that is the answer. Where, what were you gonna go with? Sorry, I mean like go for it. Two thirds, Oh, okay, sure, absolutely, that'll work. Um, I'll put this up here. If you understand how that fraction bar works, technically both things are divided by three. So if you understood it, this would also be correct. You 100% don't need to write that though. If you, if you understand it and you know that, that's good, but this is absolutely correct as well. Okay, why don't you guys take the, uh, wait, 18. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is the full hour.
why don't you guys take five, 10 minutes to finish that page off? I'm assuming a lot of you aren't done with this page. Yep, that's fine. Take five, 10 minutes. While you guys are doing that, I'll shut the screen off so a few people who would ask me if they could put their assignments in, we can do that now. Oh, wait. <laughs> Uh, I'm recording, so I only got to think. I mean, I guess I can split it.